Hi, this is Troy Patton. Today's Tuesday, September 30th. Wow, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, the market just gets hammered all the way towards the end of the day with massive selling right in the last 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes. In fact, the market ended up down 8.7%, the S&P 500 that is. And while the market suffered terribly yesterday, today the market's roaring back 4% as we speak currently around midday. Um, I'd like to point out a couple things in the market that may be of interest to you uh, and what's going on in the market. One, we have the bailout that failed, and that's one of the reasons why the market sold off uh, mainly yesterday. And then today, amazingly enough, it comes back 4%. Well, last time I checked, they're taking off three days for the Jewish holiday and won't reconvene until Thursday. So does that mean the, the markets have frozen up in this world financial crisis? Not necessarily. Yes, LIBOR rates are a little bit higher for those companies that are capital intensive and have to go out and borrow on a daily basis or even weekly or monthly basis, companies like General Electric. However, the, the rest of us aren't really suffering that much as long as, as long as you're not having to pull money out do things like that. Anyways, one, one very important point I want to point out is what's called the VIX index, or it's the Scaredy Cat index. The VIX yesterday uh, closed at about 46. It's only happened like four or five other times that, that the VIX has been tracked. Each time that that has happened, the market has rebounded somewhere between 2 to 11 percent between the next 7 and 30 days. I think this is another good indication that, yes, we've carved out a bottom, that our technical indicators held yesterday, and the market dropped. Now, let me say one thing about the bailout, because everybody has an opinion, and I'm just like everybody else, and I have one. I've been preaching about this mark-to-market rules. We have to change those. The mark-to-market rules were, were initiated with the Sarbanes-Oxley uh, initiatives uh, back a while ago. There's plenty of blame to place. The CPAs, the Fed, the uh, SEC, Congress, the White House, everyone. I'm a CPA myself. I'm shocking the water my feet are standing in. We looked at mark to market, and yes, it took care of those issues when, when real estate was going up because we didn't want people to overstate their balance sheets. Well, we didn't realize that in a crisis of this magnitude, a mark-to-market, $150,000 mortgage for someone who's actually paying their bill could have to be written off and taken on the books of a bank at around $30,000 to $40,000. That's a direct hit to the equity of the balance sheet of a bank. If Congress would just step up to the plate, admit some fault, as well as everyone else involved, change the market mark-to-market rules, you've, you've, they've just started really harping on this on Fox News and some of the other stations, we'd actually get somewhere. The mark-to-market rules, reversing that very thing, could increase the liquidity by well over a trillion dollars day one. That would free the markets up, lending would, res lending would resume, etc. I'd like for you to challenge each of you on this that are watching this uh, video to call your congressman, call your senator, tell them reverse the mark-to-market rules, or at least in this instance, put a 30-day delay on it. You would be amazed at what that will do to the market. I'm certain of it. My name is Troy Patton. Today is Tuesday, September 30th. Thank you.